Hello everyone. Today I would love to share about my journaling practice and how it helps my spiritual growth. So journaling has been my major practice since 2020. As I started to take journaling seriously, as I worked with many different psychologists, therapists and coaches, I felt the need to have guidance and find clarity in my life as I observed some patterns in my life that I wanted to end. I started to dig deep into myself and uncover many layers of myself in many therapy sessions alongside with journaling. I also find it very helpful for my spiritual growth through self-inquiries. I know more about myself understanding how traumas and triggers are connected to my childhood and how to be more compassionate to myself. So in this video, I'll be talking about how journaling helps me to release emotions, find clarity, set intentions, do shadow work and manifest. So please watch till the end of the video. I have a gift offered to all of you. So there are many benefits of journaling one of them is observing your thoughts. I find it very helpful to process my toxic thoughts and I see my patterns and it helps me to bring my emotions onto the surface. For example, if your anger is driving you crazy, you want to curse to someone, whether it's your boss, your partner, your loved ones. It is a very healthy way to write it out instead of letting it out to people around you, which we may regret later. It is a process to shine a light onto the shadow, the things that we don't want to accept. It is very human, we all judge. Through journaling, we can observe how we talk to ourselves and others. The way we talk may be very harsh or victimize ourselves by blaming others. So from here, we cultivate awareness and slowly grow kindness and non-violence in how we speak. It also helps my growth in emotion intelligence. To release emotion, first is to address your emotions by naming it. Find what triggers you the most, the pattern and the root of the triggers, and slowly grow deeper understanding of yourself and develop how to respond to emotions wisely instead of reacting to emotions which it will exhaust your energy and life force in the long run. I also use journaling to set my intentions, writing down new ideas and new goals. Sometimes I don't follow up my intentions, so it's important to write down how you will execute it and the time frame. For example, I intend to create content, how I would take actions for my day, how my day would be like, like scheduling time for myself to film and edit and stick to the work that I commit to myself. So the last one, I use journaling to manifest. So last year I manifested my apartment, but I totally forgot until I find my old journal. I asked for a private and quiet space for myself to practice. However, I didn't write it all down, everything I wanted, so it only manifested half of what I want. So it's important to write down the details and your feelings, positive feelings when you manifest. And remember, manifestation is always about taking actions. So commit to yourself and make things happen. So in the beginning, when you journal, you don't have much to write down. It's okay, you just meditate, contemplate. It must be thoughts coming in and out in your mind and you can write it all down after meditation or you can just record your day, write down what happens in your day and how you feel about it. So I will explain how I journal in these orders. So feel free to focus on one subject if you feel drawn to. Now I'm setting up for my journaling ritual. I burn some sage to clear any energy from my previous writing. And I like to connect with these two stones 
Lapis lazuli, the stone of wisdom. To ask for self consciousness, inner wisdom, intuition, and insight. So, never mind about the grammatical mistakes. Write as if you are talking to your best friend that you feel very safe to talk to. Express anything, and no one will judge you, not your diary. Release emotions as if you are writing a letter to yourself. Acknowledge your feelings. Before knowing your emotions, you may feel difficult to describe them. So I put a link of describing emotions below for you to check out. I usually start with I release, I observe myself, I feel. Also, I write about how I would feel better and what makes a difference to the situation. Clarify what are my unmet needs and how to feel content for myself. Not from the external. Shadow work. Self-inquiry is a very good way to process negative memories and traumas by contemplating the questions. Here is a series of questions I get from this book, The Dark Side of Light Chasers. It is very detailed guidance, step by step, on how to do shadow work. Here, I chose a few questions. That helped me to find clarity on something that I was stuck in. Manifestation. I always write in the present tense. Always know that you are abundant. Instead of writing "I want," use "I am," "I have," "I feel," because "I want" is in a lacking state and desire something that you don't have it right now. So, for example, I attract abundance by attracting the right people. To come to my offerings and sessions, they enjoy the time we share, and they are happy to give as well as I'm happy to receive, offer, and hold space for them to connect with their true essence. Be grateful for what you have and what you will have in the future, and learn how to recognize the good things and things that we overlook or take for granted. Last part, affirmation. I am empowered today to finish filming for this video. I have the energy to stick with what I intend to do. I have the energy to concentrate on my work. It is best to affirm in the morning, 
and see it as a cheer up for yourself. You are the motivator, the cheerleader, your parent, and your own best friend. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel inspired to journal with me, please fill in the form on the description box down below to subscribe to my newsletter so that you can get a free guided journaling and meditation recording. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification button for updates. See you fast soon.